Dog's Tale is a short story written by Mark Twain, Aileen's mother. Then a Robin, a puppy of Aileen, the nurse, baby of Grey and gardener. These are minor characters in the story. The present story is about a dog named Aileen Monwin. It is told from Aileen's point of view. The story expresses Aileen's courage to save the life of her owner's child from fire by putting her life at risk. It reveals the honesty and faithfulness of animals towards their masters. But their masters are cruel and selfish. It is proven when Mr. Gray with his friends did some biological experiment on Aileen's puppy and the puppy is killed by them. Ironically, we can say that Aileen has helped the master to save his baby, but the master has killed her puppy. Man uses animals only for their benefits and selfish interests. Thus, the language used in this story is metaphorical one. Mark Twain uh, is a pseudonym of Samuel Langhorne Clemens. He was born on 30th November 1835 and died on 21st April 1910. He was born in Florida, Missouri, where he was brought up. Clemens was an American writer, humorist, journalist, lecturer, novelist, entrepreneur, and philosopher, and publisher. He began his career as a typesetter and then helped through writing articles for his older brother's uh, newspaper. For a few days, Twain also worked as a riverboat pilot on Mississippi River. Jim Smiley and his Jumping Frog is his first successful sto story published in 1865 New York Saturday Praise. His most famous novels are The Adventures of Tom Sauer and its sequel The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Life on the Mississippi is an autobiographical account of his life as a pilot on the river Mississippi. Twain was against the inequality, injustice and hypocrisy of human beings. He uses satirical language in his short stories to highlight human beings' behavior. First part of the story is about Aileen's mother. Aileen's mother has great impact on Aileen. Aileen tells her that her mother has very fondness to collect numerous words and their meanings. And uh, Aileen tells that her mother had a fondness for large words and its meanings. She liked to say them and she, uh, before other dogs, uh, presented those words to make them surprised and envious. So, she got so much education. But this education was not real education, it was only show. She got these words by listening in the dining room and drawing room when she was there in the company of human beings and their children. Especially she went with those children to Sunday school and listened there so many words. She collected those words into the dictionary and she answered up so pr promptly that it seemed like a dictionary speaking. So such was the that capacity of Aileen's mother. Later on, Aileen tells us about that character or uh, that means the attitude of her mother. So uh, Aileen tells that her mother had a kind heart and gentle ways and never uh, hard bored any type of anger for the injuries made by other men to her. But she put them easily out of her mind and forgot everything happened bad to her. She taught her children that kind ways of life and from her uh, only Aileen learned uh, to be brave and prompt in time of danger and not to run away but face the peril that threaten uh, your friend or stranger and help him the best we could without stopping to think what the cost might be to us. So this was how Aileen's mother taught Aileen to face dangerous situation in life. So this is uh, that lesson with that only that story further develops and this education helps Aileen 
in her life also to get the uh, that decision see after this first part you have that second part where aileen comes to her new home this is the home of gray and in this home she finds that very change in her life this home was such a charming home and in this home everything was new one for her a fine great house with pictures and delicate decorations rich furniture uh, everywhere that a sunshine was there and that garden green board noble trees flowers everything was there members of family were very good loving to aileen they called uh, that um, that dog aileen as the same name aileen so she got it out of a song and actually she was happy at that time so uh, she aileen narrates further about that family of gray in that family aileen met mrs gray she was 30 years age very sweet and lovely woman then mr gray who was 38 years age tall and slender and handsome but not uh, emotional one he was scientist by profession then sadie was very lovely girl towards um, aileen so in this way uh, she found this uh, home as a very new home for her one thing is very specially mentioned by aileen uh, is that there was one laboratory and that was new thing for her and uh, she elaborated that what is laboratory laboratory is quite different and it is filled with jars bottles and electrical wires and uh, strange machines so every week uh, she found scientists coming to the library doing some experiment discussing about uh, all discoveries and that was very different thing happening in her life see then uh, it was actually happy life in the beginning for aileen in that home she uh, was there living with the very comfort and uh, everybody was taking care of her providing her good uh, that things to her so because there there were some most pleasant ones uh, pleasant people actually and uh, very graceful people later on she she was uh, actually Uh, happy because uh, of her puppy that is uh, she mentions here that uh, one puppy came into her life and then uh, her life became very happy and perfect it was the dearest little waddling thing in her life very smooth soft and velvety and then uh, she became the most happiest person in life having her own puppy so this is how that changed life of her into the family later on in that winter came so it's very significant uh, incident happened in her life as she saved that uh, baby of uh, mr gray but that gray um, could not identify the intention of um, um, aileen and uh, that Uh, mr gray <coughs> actually uh, asked her to leave the home begone you cursed beast you have uh, actually <coughs> created this problem it is that the pain uh, painful situation for um, aileen and she left the home she jumped into that uh, garret and hided uh, herself into uh, that garret and she at the time was very sad because she was there um, beaten by that master uh, with the stick and due to that her leg was now um, she was lame due to that broken leg so this is how that story takes turn and here we can see how this uh, aileen suffered a lot later on somehow uh, sadi uh, and the nurse everybody they could uh, understand the intention of 
Helen was not to kill the baby but to save the baby from the fire room. And uh, in that way, now these people they wanted to find out this alien. And uh, finally, Sadie could find out her, and uh, she shouted when she saw alien. Sadie saw alien. She said, "She has found. She she is found. She is found." In that way. So praising of alien that started then onwards, and uh, the story. of saving a child is uh, told to so many people and friends by this mr and mrs uh, gray and sadi so these two were good actually but uh, that master was somewhat uh, problematic for a ali so one day what happened those scientists they they came back they discussed about um, one Thing that is, they discussed optics. They called it and whether a certain injury to a brain means they call. They were uh, having some discussions. The scientists were having some discussions about uh, how the brain of dog that works, and uh, they decided to uh, do one biological experiment on dog. And uh, for that, they selected uh, that puppy of Aileen, and the experiment was done. but due to that experiment uh, that alien's puppy uh, was killed and uh, that was miss happening in the life of alien so robin that puppy of alien was buried and it was very difficult for her to uh, to understand what's going on and uh, that master asked the, those people to bury Uh, this robin into that garden and in that way uh, after doing biological experiment that uh, creature dies so finally uh, alien also became very unhappy and she with the pain of or grief of or sorrow of that miss happening and uh, death of her um, puppy um, she also dies so those poor creatures they do not suspect they will come home in the morning and eagerly ask for the little doggy that did the brave did and who of us will be strong enough to say the truth to them the humble little friend is gone where go the fresh uh, beast and uh, that perish so this is how that end of the story in this uh, the question is asked by the writer and uh, about ill treatment given by human beings to those animals who were very honest who are very honest to us so this is how that major issue is presented by mark twain before us about the cruelty of human being for the selfish motto so let's stop here